Hello you guys, welcome back. It's your nail bitch over here. So, um, I wanted to re-do the Young Nails e-file thing for you guys. Do I have it the right way? I don't. Okay, so, um, this is the box. This is what it looks like when you get it. Took it out of the box, obviously. Blah, blah, blah. It comes with that for your motor, your piece. Like, nobody really fucking cares about the packaging, right? This packaging. What we want to know is the hand piece, right? Straight to it, do it. So, I'm going to tell you now that I'm fidgeting with it what I like, what I don't like about it. My first thing, um, I had my I had a Koopa. Um, it gave me a lot of problems, but I didn't buy it from their website. Um, I got it from somewhere else, whatnot. Anyways, um, didn't like it, returned it. Well, sold it, actually. Um, after it was fixed. Just get that out of the way, though. It was fixed. Okay, so, I got the Young Nails one. Now, I love the Young Nails one because... Let's let's just take a look really quick. There's your... There, hold on. on and off switch, so let's turn it on. And you can hear it beep. And you can hear my dog. That plugs in to the wall because this is not wireless so this is my only problem too is that it's not wireless and I love 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 wireless stuff now to while you guys are seeing it on your phone computer whatever screen you're watching you might notice that the numbers are making this weird like flashy thing that doesn't happen in real life in actuality it is not moving it um, it is solid color it's not doing that that's just because I'm recording um, I will say this could be brighter and when you're at certain angles you cannot see these numbers or anything on the screen so it's almost like if you got a glare or if you're at a certain point you're not gonna see it see you see that sorry for my nail tables a disaster right now but yeah and my nails are really bad too what I loved about the machine is this. This whole thing. Let me zoom in for you. That's way too zoomed. All right. Move this. This came with all that shit. Okay. So, they give you this. And I like it because it does this. It rotates and you move it. Although it does have a little pull. Um, they have these little dots, so you can probably, that's probably for your finger and, or if you have acrylics too though, you can just put a shit, actually it's easier just to be pushed out from the sides down. Now what they do give you, which is great, because this is not acetone resistant, so be careful, because this is glass, that's not acetone resistant. Did I tell you how much this cost? The price point at this was $345. Once you're done with taxes and whatnot, I live in California, so I'm going to be able to pay a little bit more. Um, it, almost, it was like 380 something so you're looking at almost $400, okay? Now, you have to think of all the other machines that are around that price point. Are they going? Are they better? What not? This is Young Nails' first um, e-file. Now, I will say they can definitely improve on a lot of things. We can make the screen brighter make the screen brighter um, please wh why would you make an e-file and not make something acetone resistant but what's great they gave you this okay this comes in with your stuff which I like and it goes around this right here goes around it so it protects it so it's like your little protector cover thing I don't know if they resell these on their website I gotta check but I don't recall seeing these but it just came with it so you're a little acetone resistant this part, but you still have to be careful because the whole machine, you know. I have their, um, I have their airbrush machine, and that is also non-acetone. It's uh, non-acetone resistant, so I put acetone on it to clean it one time, and it fucked up the outside, the way it looks, not the way it works. So, um. What I like about it, like I said, well, we're going to continue. We're going to, it's turned on. As you can see, this is showing, like, your your RPMs, right? Let's go all the way to zero. Now, 
this won't turn on until you just go boop. Um, I don't care for the beeps. The beeps are whatever. I mean, I guess you need a beep if you have a button. But maybe, like, instead of a beep, maybe a little vibrational thing would be nice. Instead of beeps. Because, you know, it could be beep, beep, beep all over the place. But it's whatever. It's fine. Motor. Uh, did we have the motor on? Okay, it looks like the motor's on. Okay, it looks like the motor's off. Okay. Motor on. Now we start at 1. And what I like about this, not, um, like... When you have your Koopa, when you have your all your other medical whatever thing, it either just goes from slow, medium, straight to fast, even though it's got a big ass dial, which is one thing I didn't like about the Koopa. You had to like turn it all the way to turn it off. It's a pain in the ass. Um, this, you can gradually go. You and you can feel it gradually getting faster. So you actually have way more ranges of your speed than you would get with another um, more uh, another upscale e-file machine which is really cool which is what I like I really like that I really like that you're able to know it as well so this is at 14k so you can say oh I love working at 14 for a certain spot I like working at seven, or if you're a beginner, you start at like five or six. Obviously the lower ones for when you're prepping your nail. And then I just like that you can do that, that you can remember, oh, I like working at number eight for being around, working around the cuticle or a little bit slower when you're working around the cuticle. And then here he goes to 21, you can, that's for, you know, buffing, maybe filing, whatnot. There's 30. This is what it sounds like. That's 30. It's gradually goes lower. Now I will say, I don't know if you hear this, tell me. And comment if you can hear this. Because I will say, I don't like this hand piece. I can hear a really loud, like, eek. Do you hear it? It's not like... It's a, a loud screeching ringing. Let me see. Obviously, you're not going to hear it when it's up high. But you're going to hear it when it's lower. At a lower speed, it does that little screech. Um... But what do you think? The handpiece is a little vibration-y. I can definitely feel the vibrations in my hand throughout the entire piece. It is, it, it definitely has more vibration than I want to say my Koopa for sure. Um, it's very large. Let me get it. Let me talk about the piece really quick. So this is a quite a large hand piece. It's very top heavy. If you have small hands and you don't like a heavy piece, this is not for you. This machine is in, definitely not for you, for sure. Um, especially and if you don't like cordless, definitely. Or if you like cordless only and you hate cords, this machine is definitely not for you once more. Um, but like I said, I feel later on down the road, Young Nails will probably definitely get a new EFA, uh, a new, um, oh my gosh, what's this called again? Oh, I'm blanking out. <laughs> Young Nails will definitely do another, um, nail file machine, um, hand piece. Sorry, there we go. I, I don't know why I, I blanked out. They'll definitely do another hand piece and I suggest that they do that ASAP because this hand piece is not the business. It's not the bee's knees at all. It's long. But you know what? There are some people who like longer pieces but you should never like a heavier hand piece. This is heavy. Like I feel it top heavy. Like when you're doing this on a nail, the shit just oh, it just bam. It's, it's very, very top heavy. Um, 
the hand piece for me I wish they could have done a way better job and what is really weird I think it might be because this is like almost feels like it's all metal all metal there's not any not metal <laughs> there's no nothing to cover to make you know it's just like legit all metal so when I was just messing around just like literally going through a little piece like this is just a tip okay let's just go through this tip sorry I am not even okay let's use it the right way okay Okay, turn it off. For some reason, this hand piece warmed up. Ah, ha, ha. It warms up the whole bit. And so, if you're working on a, you're working on something, and you've been kind of drilling kind of hard, you know, at a decent pace, get ready for your bits to come out hot, because whatever this is, I guess because it's like all metal and they didn't really think of to like coat it with something when you have the piece on and it's working it's creating that friction so if you have an all metal bit it's gonna burn it's gonna come out hot which is something I don't like especially at the price point like I've had stuff that $60 that doesn't even do that shit for it a hand piece um, like I mean ceramic I mean it does see it's got the metal this your your natural sanding um, bits are gonna be okay but as soon as you touch this it's gonna burn so pretty much all your metal things which is almost every bit that we as nail people tax own it's it burns it does um, and that sucks. I don't like that it does that. Um, I, it's just the hand piece. It's the way they design the hand piece. Um, and I don't think that it should be doing that for the price point that they have this set at. Honest opinion. Now that, like, literally that's my only problem I kind of have with this machine is the hand piece. So you like have little hands it's very top heavy very heavy right here and then you got this <laughs> i mean it, it all it just feels kind of ancient to be honest knowing that there's other hand pieces that are smaller more compact easier not going to do any of that this feels like a dinosaur hand piece to me just because i had my koopa and i had you know the updated um one the updated uh hand piece so, another cool thing, this is what I love about the machine though. So, that hand tells you that it, you're using the hand little thing, which honestly you don't need, it's kind of, but it's cool to have. If you press it, there's a hand and foot. They don't sell a foot pedal, not that I'm aware of. But the F is telling me I'm in, I'm in forward. And then the R is just going to reverse, and by just doing that, it reverses that easy. It's a button. You don't have to worry about a knob or anything on the sides and all that, which is what I like. All of everything is right here. I don't have to twist the knob to turn it off. All I have to do is go beep, motor off. So when you're in the middle of doing someone's nails, you still want this. You just go motor off that way it stays on I forgot it does come with this little holder to hold your to hold your piece Let me go up. hold your little hand piece sorry you guys that's not what <laughs> but um, it, it there's there's a lot of uh, you need a lot of room for this because there's wires everywhere, the hand piece is everywhere, I mean the hand piece is huge as fuck, I guess there's the hand piece, um, what was I going to say, okay, what I do like, also, this is definitely, I want to say this is a great, it's good for a beginner too, okay, so, uh, hand foot, 
pan and that little thing makes it for your foot pedal um although you don't really need one in this um what was i gonna talk about oh, okay let me turn it on now this is going to show you watch the little things right here watch something's gonna pop up right here and there are three or four little um little like watch let me just show you i don't know what call it. you see that and then it, it, it blinks like that that's showing me how much pressure i'm putting so that's kind of decent and then all the way like you're putting hard bad pressure which is pretty cool um it shows you how much pressure you're using and all that but to be honest when you're doing someone's nails you're not going to be looking at this at the same time unless you want to cut them so i mean that's cool that's showing you how much pressure you're you're doing but it, it's it's cool but it's unnecessary it's just like a neat feature but an unnecessary feature slash it can be necessary if you're just learning and starting out but still like you can't watch this and do someone's nails at the same time unless you want to fuck it up um but that's pretty cool i i like that and then i just like that it is a really true to its speed it's just not like fast medium and slow it's like slowish slow slower slowish medium mediumish medium fast fast like it's got all that that's great and i love this this is amazing i love that it's great i hate the hand piece i will say that i don't know maybe i can learn to like it if i i don't want i don't know i'm, not, I'm on the fence about this i'm on the fence about returning this and just getting um my uh, getting another koopa <laughs> but from their like legit website because i got my koopa from a nail supply store <laughs> and if you get koopas from not their website they don't really like they don't um hold that warranty to for you because you didn't get it from them but that's this like i said um the machine is this machine the is great it's great all they need to do literally is get a better handpiece and make this cordless and this thing will be fucking amazing it'll be great 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 if this went cordless and the handpiece was drastically changed because the handpiece heating up my bits and if you go to change it out and you gotta deal with it hot this thing makes some weird loud noise i don't know if y'all heard it in the video um but uh and if you get acetone on this anywhere on this it's gonna fuck it up if you drop this this is glass gonna fuck it up um the warranty does not cover much it's for a year and it does not cover anything that I, honestly to be honest i don't know what it would cover because the shit that it says that it doesn't cover yeah, it doesn't cover anything that is used by that's obviously considered what they think our fault um important inappropriate maintenance and repair normal wear of consumable parts such as bearings spindles case blah 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 so if something happens you need to return it or get it fixed i'm sure they're going to charge you just like how the other ones do because i know koopa charge me and whatnot um but yeah if you do just if you buy this don't make sure you use everything for it because you will definitely mess up your e-file and that goes with every single e-file if you don't use what the company is giving you you can totally blow your battery and fuck up your whole machine and there goes three four hundred dollars down the drain well not all down the drain but you're gonna have to spend more to fix it because you're not have to send it in they're gonna charge you because they know you mess it up not them so yeah overall in all okay 
Um, I like that they did this since it said not acetone resistant. They gave you the little file or the little film protector. Um, this is kind of chunky. It's everywhere. Well, that's not everywhere. It's, it's, what, um, what do I want to say? Okay. It's this. Like, you can't have, don't have this on the corner of your nail table. This needs to be in something like this. I got this from the Dollar Tree. That way you can put it in this and then the wires can come out of these little holes right here. Otherwise, if you drop it, you're, you're fucking done. It's broken. Um, so super sensitive, temperamental, um, cause it's glass, non acetone resistant, heavy hand piece. Those are the negative. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, this is like the breakdown and this is honestly what I think about, uh, what I think about it. Um, but then again, I always look at every, anything that can be improved upon. So I'm very, um, just in touch with any little thing that's wrong. But I mean the hand piece, that that's a, that's definitely a no-brainer. It's just fucking heavy. It's it's heavy. I think the hand piece almost weighs more than the machine, cause this is lightweight. This is actually really really lightweight. <clears throat> Sorry, that's my dog, you guys. Okay, so yeah, this is really lightweight. Like I said, this might be heavier than, than the machine. I didn't feel it, but yeah. That's how heavy that shit is. So, I'm forewarning you on this hand piece. It's heavy. And I, I, I don't mind heavy, but I don't want heavy. Like, I want a light hand piece. Who does not? And it's just way too damn long. It is way too damn long. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Why, Young Nails? Why? Why? $345 and you're going to give us this as a handpiece? No. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just... I'll give them a pass because it's their first e-file, but seriously. This isn't like it's the first e-file in, in history to go down right now. There's other e-files... And then with pieces that are way better than this. But, yeah, that that's the, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. As you can probably tell through this video, you're going to hear me say a lot of things that I don't like about it. Don't look at this. This is all just a disaster. But, um, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I don't know what I want to do with it. Because, I mean, I've had problems with my Koopa, and who knows? Sometimes the portable e-files have problems a lot with the battery and whatnot, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I don't want to ramble on anymore, you guys, but this is my, an honest, true review, because I have not seen one on YouTube yet. This is my honest fucking review. This is the machine. Bam, bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Um, I want to say wait for them to come up with something better um or buy a koopa or a medicool i don't know it's all your preference but i love this like i don't want to return it because of this this is like the best it's just this fucking hand piece and it's not wireless but yeah that's the young nails we're done we're done talking about her because like She's got a lot more bad things to say than good right now. So, I will see you later. Let me know what you think. Or if you have another hand, another e-file that you love and whatnot. Or just your thoughts on this video. Let me know. Alright, I will see you guys later. Nail bitch is leaving. She's going, she's leaving. Because, um, have you seen these? Yeah, they need to get done, dead and done. And I gotta do it myself. Ain't nobody else gonna do it but me. Hey, right. bye.